How's it going, goons? Ignore the mess behind me. Uh, this video is a collection of highlights from my most recent G12 matchup against fellow content creator St. Breezes. Now, the G12 is a uh, online dynasty full of content creators who mostly stream on Twitch, uh, and those games take place about once a week. So what I'm going to start doing is some of you may have seen community posts about these games, uh, but maybe you're unable to watch the live streams and watch the games live at the, as they happen. So what I'm going to be doing is after each one of our games, I'm going to be kind of going through and recapping the game via the highlights uh, and then posting it here so that you guys can kind of follow along if you're not able to watch the live stream. Let me know what you guys think of this format. And again, if you're not following on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash goonmaster. If you head over there and use your Twitch Prime sub on the account, maybe I'll clean the room. We gave up a really quick touchdown. This was a beautiful pass. Curl route. And then the stick work. Yee! Woo! Just freaking <laughs> obliterated. That's rough. That was really, really rough. Those curl routes were pretty strong, especially if we didn't have a safety over there to really stop them because we couldn't press. But then, Don Calhoun. This is our first play from offense, right? First play from offense. Stepped up for the run. Looked like he was going to bring pressure. Audible to the four verts. And just uh, right here, I'm kind of panicking because I see that defensive tackle starting to come out. I don't think Bijan's going to pick him up, so I just heaved it deep. And, uh, wait, did we have 20 minutes time possession? That's insane. He, I think, I think he kind of screwed himself here. I think he had this if he just lets the CPU do it. But he usered his guy trying to ball hawk it, which is probably the smart play. But he could have stopped the touchdown. So I guess it was like, do you take the touchdown or do you go for the interception? And then huge to get into the end zone. You're on my coast permanently? That would be smart. <laughs> Welcome, no name. You're going to have to watch the VOD. Maybe the G12 VOD to watch it commentated, but we had some good reactions in here. That was a really fun game. So we scored first after... No, he scored. He scored immediately. Uh, immediately then we scored. Then he throws a pick pretty early in the drive. I think he just tried to force this one. I'm not sure. Looks like his guy's open. Oh, he threw it, threw it to the wrong receiver. You went for the 50-50 ball. Ball's a little bit underthrown. Crawford's able to get his hands on it. Hold on. Get in bounds. And we did win. 31-21. And then from there, it's just a long, grinded out drive. Down the field. Ended the first quarter. And then another touchdown pass to Callahan. I think we called this one. A great read, I'm going to say it. We had the underneath route right here to six. Oh, he's wide open. I didn't realize how wide open he was, but I was looking the whole time at Callahan. He got free, and you knew that there was nothing they could do. He's got a step. Don Calhoun with the 99 accuracy isn't going to do anything. Actually, that's a kind of a bad ball from him. He throws it to the wrong shoulder, but good adjustment. Gets it, stays in bounds, makes the catch. No contact. We take the lead. Uh, I don't know what happens. I think we get a stop. No, he scores on a good run. No, it's uh, the slant over the middle. Nobody's there to stop it. Beautiful read. Beautiful throw. Nothing to do there. And then again, I think I don't think we burned the clock here. I think what we did was we went pretty quick. 13-yard pass, 7-yard uh, run. 15 yard, six yards, and then the 35 yard catch from Callahan. His third of the game. Looking at the man with double coverage all the way. That's just how I roll. I'm not a good quarterback. I, I can't make progressions. I stare one guy down the whole time. Like in, a, in real life, every single pass is getting picked off because all you have to do is look at my eyes. Here we start to roll out. I panic because I see him coming off the edge. So we just chuck it and somehow... There's four guys there. Breaks the tackles, picks up some blocks, and walks into the end zone. That is, the fact that this route turned into six is insane to me, especially at the time when it happens. Hey, thanks, No Name. Square now. Everyone else must bow before me, for I am their superior. He's right. You have to bow before him. If you, if you have the green square, you are superior. 
<laughs> 12 months. I appreciate it, no name. I like how does he how do you break these these town? Look at how many black jerseys are in the area. There's four guys, but then by the time the tackle finished, this guy, 94, could have made the tackle, but trips over his own guys. 26, and I think that's 23, are too busy hurtling over their own guys. And it allows Callahan just to walk into the end zone. Thanks for streaming again. Hey, listen. We've been enjoying it. Look at the other slant. Oh, no, don't tell me it's also wide open. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, the guy I threw it to is wide open enough. He's never going to drop that. And it's Callahan. Whereas, I mean, we could throw it to friggin' Chunky Lebrock, who is absolutely wide open with a, with a block in front of him. <laughs> but uh, especially throwing across the field, because I think I started to roll out. So it's a tough throw to, for the quarterback to make there. Especially in this game, you never know. But I did miss that. I never saw that. Uh, and then we make the big stop on fourth down. Right here. Right? We did we we picked up a sack on third down. This was our one sack of the game. Pressure finally got there. He doesn't really have he has that curl to uh the running back open. I think that's the running back. Yeah. Other than that, doesn't have anything, and by the time that curl is complete. The pressure's there. Wouldn't have been a highlight play? Sure, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we force the, the fourth down inside a minute, I think, at this point. And he steps up. Had a chance to pick it. Look at the awareness from this DB. You never see this in NCAA 14. The awareness turns around, gets a hand up there. I think that might be Owens. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. We do have to check broken tackles. And then march down the field. The, this was incredible. I was like, uh, I, we decided run up the middle. We got one yard, which is okay, but maybe not great. Um, and then we just ran it again with the intention to kind of burn the clock. So we hand it off to Bijan Robinson. He goes, cuts it back inside. The, look at this cut with the spin move. Steps in, draws all the defenders to the right, spins to the left, breaks a tackle, as Bijan Robinson does. He falls forward for a couple extra yards. So now I'm thinking, okay, there's not a whole lot of time left. We could probably afford to throw one. We come out in the hurry up on this next play, and we're looking for the man, Jay Smith. And this was a prayer. Uh, the fact that this pass was completed, I don't know. It's divine intervention. Like, there's no reason this one should not have been picked off. There are two... Kind of three black jerseys there when the when the ball is caught. And Smith just sticks an arm out there and says, Nah, I'm catching this one. Don't worry. Like, what? How How is that going to happen? That doesn't make any sense. And yet he comes down with it. So it's like, okay, well, now we're in a good spot. There's only like nine seconds left at this point. So we throw it, we get 13 yards. Apparently we're not allowed to look at it and it sets us up for the 48 yard field goal to end the half. So then we go into the locker room with a 10 point lead, getting the ball instead of the seven. Start the opening drive. I don't think we scored on this one. We didn't score in the third quarter. We march it down the field. It's a long one. Uh, and it's Bijan Robinson getting stuffed fourth and technically fourth and four when it really should have been fourth and goal from the four, but the other game sometimes go with the counter because it's been working well looks like we could be okay the safety's coming up all we have to do is make one guy miss but the defensive end gets off the block right as i'm trying to go for my spin move to make the safety miss and he's right there easiest stop of his life isn't that the cotton bowl i don't know where does it say that we are we are uh at a neutral site for this game what does it say on this over here yeah there it is <laughs> the green square is looking fresh it looks better than all the others I mean that's just because those, that's the way the, the colors are intended to be so he makes a good stop marches down the field and I think he scores on this one with a huge run this is uh, where I bring the man in the wrong spot he keeps it on the uh, the read option I 
was worried about the counter, truth be told. So I was trying to keep the edge sealed a little bit more. And he just takes it right up the middle and gets a beautiful block from the running back. Nothing you can do. He's got a quick quarterback. That's like a scary two-headed monster. Uh, third quarter, we, we burn the rest of it and then keep burning the clock through the fourth quarter. And this is what we get. Just hand it off. Looking good outside the pocket. Another guy wide open. Didn't want to score here. But Lebrock, I mean, when you're this big, you have other plans. He gets into the end zone. Increase the lead again. Get to defend your deal. I mean, hey, no, fair enough. Fair enough, hybrid. <laughs> I did throw them under the bus when it happened. So we score, which is okay. We retake, what, our 10-point lead? And then he just has the most unfortunate interception. I don't know if he forced this or if it was a great play by Owens. Steps back, looking to throw. He's got the slant route. Oh, right at the start. His guy kind of had some separation. The only problem is it's a tight end, so he's not, like, super quick. He did. He deserved the touchdown, to be fair. He made some really nice plays. He kind of has it. Owens just has the speed and is able to step in front of that one. That's a pick six if it's easier to keep your guy running the same direction. Like in, the, in an online game, I almost every single time I've gotten an interception, my guys start running the wrong direction just because you have to have the right timing. But we get the ball and then it's just... Uh, we didn't run any triple options, I don't think. It was just Bijan Robinson from here on out. Nothing that they can really do. This, the oh, we don't even get to see the diagonal backward slide for the first down to seal it. Brutal. Can we see any of these game clinching runs? We would have won my board, maybe. This is the last run of the game from Bijan. We couldn't take a knee. Because we, we just burned the clock out. Just barely outruns the eye. He's trying to strip the ball at that point. He could have made the tackle any other time. But uh, pretty solid.